So uh, the tailored solutions that we're currently working through at the moment with a number of systems and existing systems, um, there's generally three. And I'm not going to take you all through the three today. Um, I'm going to take you through the second one. Um, but the, the first one that we work on is uh, for a franchisee, a franchisee that, that potentially owns more than one location and they're wanting uh, one platform, certainly if they can report by one entity, one platform where they can easily um, access divisional type of reporting, cost center reporting for each location and within that location look at different cost centers within the business. So, for example, it might be a hospitality group that has um, four different pubs and within those pubs, the owner wants to be able to drill down and have a look at how the, the front bar is performing, how the public bar is performing, how the restaurant's performing, how the nightclub's performing, all within um, one, one account, not having to have four different accounts, and um, which makes it pretty messy in terms of the accounting and bookkeeping side. So Shoebook is ideal for that type of scenario. A systemized approach. So again, the franchise all down, wanting something that is systemized and scalable for their system moving forward. I'll take you through that in the case study. And franchisors, we're actually working now with a number of systems that are actually doing the bookkeeping for their entire system. So again, there's we've got a tailored solution uh, for those systems, including centralizing um, accessing the accounts with one click of a button so you don't have to log in and log out of whether it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 40 different accounts. Um, and with the roles and permissions side of Shoebooks, we will be able to set up the way or different uh, activities that the franchise at the franchisee level um, can can do in, in their own account. And that could be just looking at reports. It could be entering in purchases, invoices. Again, it all can be predetermined by the franchise or and we can tailor that solution. But what I'm going to do is take you through the second one, which is a, a stock standard um, solution that we can roll out very, very quickly these days for a, uh, whether it's a startup franchise system or whether it's a large franchise system, which I'll walk you through. This is a, this is a solution that is now um, finished, although we still do a little bit of development in terms of custom features that they potentially are looking to, uh, to do just to improve uh, processes moving forward. But I'll just take your eyes to the right-hand side first and I'll just explain this case scenario for you. This is a Mexican restaurant. Um, they originally approached us when they were just starting out. Um, they had previous experience in running businesses and running franchise systems. So they had an idea of some of the challenges that they faced as the franchisor. And what they wanted to do was actually have a, a very systemized, um, automated approach to running the back office side of their business. And something not just from a head office point of view, but also uh, something that can be rolled out to every new franchisee very, very quickly. So a couple of things that they wanted was the automation around franchise fees. So I think I mentioned before, um, they didn't want to be in the uh, scenario where they were either waiting for reports coming through on a weekly or monthly basis. And then when they got the reports, they had to question whether the sales figures were correct. Um, then they had to then create the invoices and send the invoice and then potentially wait for the franchisee to do something at their end. What we've been able to do is build an automated solution where through the trust relationships that we've been set up um, with the databases, we actually automate the calculation of the franchise fees. We actually automate um, the population of, or the creation of an invoice at the franchise all level, and we actually automate the bill at the franchisee account level. So all the data entry is actually um, moved and certainly the transparency around the number is clear as day. What's in the system is, is what in the system. Um, they wanted divisional reporting. So within the head office, they wanted to, re they wanted to clearly identify different cost centers nice and easily. And within that, there could be jobs that are integrating and they, the jobs could be used for supplies. So tracking things like, you know, fosters um, as, a, as a promo within each division. They wanted that ability. 
um, transparency around the numbers I've already spoken about. They wanted KPI reports. So one thing they want to be able to do is actually add greater value to their franchisees in terms of the financial management. So again, with one click of a button, and I'm going to show you an example of this very shortly, they wanted to be able to see how their franchisees were performing around a, different, a number of different matrix. Um, and it wasn't just all sales, a whole range of different breakdowns. So they could go out and actually talk to the business owners or the franchisees around potentially doing things differently, um, you know, challenges they are having and those sorts of things. So they wanted, again, with one click of a button, uh, they wanted to do that. And the last item was the white labeling. So you know, they were able to roll out this the first four really easily. And now they're at a stage now that they're contemplating white labeling shoe books. So we remove all shoe books branding. Uh, they've got their own secure URL, which may be linked to their website. Um, so they keep their own branding. So again, uh, they've got a their own tool, their own back office tool that they're using to attract new franchisees um, and something that is very scalable to retain the existing franchisees. So once we got um, the franchise all set up, and this the little cloud here is representative of their account. So we did a lot of work in their account, account with our own chart of accounts and certainly divisional reporting and those sorts of things. We then went about setting up a master franchisee database first, so this top one. And within that, we worked with the franchisor on the chart of accounts that they wanted to everyone to have. So again, everyone has, so in terms of benchmarking, everyone was um, a, lot, a lot easier to pull out benchmarking if everyone's using the same chart of accounts. We looked at the different systems that they were using. So the banking, uh, their banking systems, point of sale, CRM, other platforms that they may have had. Um, how could we actually use our SOAP interface to automate the information flow going into an account? So again, removing data entry and the errors that come with data entry um, and the reporting. So again, did they want some custom reporting for each franchise or which we um, could do. And within that master database, we also looked at dif different divisions. So straight away, they could have some fantastic cost center reporting as a brand new business owner. What that allows us to do is once we had one master franchisee database set up, every time a new franchisee comes along, one, the trust relationship is already developed with the franchisor account and we just replicate the database. Now, obviously, there's different security levels involved. Um, there is different entity names and ABNs and all those sorts of things which are very easy to populate, but as you can see, very easy to scale. And if we need to make some global changes, again, for us, very easy to make changes globally to the entire system. So that gives you a quick snapshot of a very, very, uh, vanilla, I call this now our vanilla tailored solution. It can work in different ways. Some systems don't want um, you know, some of this automation brought in. They want to give their franchisees a little bit more flexibility in terms of what they do with their own accounts. Again, we can do that. But you know, the, the, the upside to this is um, having a system that is ready to go, easy to roll out. And for a franchise or, you know, removing resourcing and data entry needs for a number of these activities um, is huge cost savings just in itself. What's involved in the process? So just before we start wrapping up, um, get this question all the time. And I'll just take you through some, some simple, simple steps that we work with, not just franchise systems, but even business owners that, uh, that are looking to migrate over uh, from existing systems. Very first thing, is we do a needs analysis. So we, we work with the franchisors on what they're looking at or what their requirements are right now, um, where their system is headed, you know, what are their goals? Are they looking to go from five uh, systems, um, franchisees out to, is the goal to get to 100? Um, so they're gonna need a scalable um, model. Do they, what type of trust relationships are they looking for? What type of integration can we help with? Um, at the head office level. So how do we get rid of those spreadsheets and data and spreadsheets and data entry processes? Um, we can then look at the franchisee level, you know, what type of systems need to be um, automated, integrated with, again, point of sale, CRM, 
et cetera, et cetera. Um, we, out of that, we build a plan and that is a staged plan. We don't go um, head into trying to integrate every single system. Um, we have to be mindful of, of the change processes in place here. Um, so effectively, the next step, once we've got um, the requirements moving forward and we've got an agreement on, on, on the stage approach is, is we set up, set up the, a standardised chart of account, one for the franchisor and certainly that master franchisee account. Again, we, get, we, we work with a franchisor on, on what they're wanting in that, at that franchisee level, um, potential roles and permissions and those sorts of things in the master franchisee database. Once we've got that down pat, which doesn't take uh, very long at all, we're talking could take hours, but maybe a day to get right. Um, certainly started uh, standard chart of accounts these days, we can get certainly migration from existing platforms and replicating what you had in, whether it's Mild or QuickBooks or whatever it may be, you know, half an hour these days. So just give you some time frames around these. Then we start looking at migration of existing um, accounting software. Again, we do this in a staged approach. If it's a small system, you know, one to five um, locations, yeah, we could potentially roll that out all at once. Um, if we're, and we're certainly working with larger groups at the moment that don't want to roll something out um, altogether, and that is a big task for, for anyone to be involved with. Again, we group them. We certainly start with the, the franchise all, which is usually the most complex um, migration to start with, get that right make sure everyone's happy, uh, bring on one, again, one to five potential uh, locations, migrate those guys over, make sure the trust relationship's happening between um, the, the accounts and, again, everyone's happy. Then we start rolling out in stages in a nice, um, timely manner. Again, migration of existing data, if you're looking at, you know, the, at the franchise all level, can be done very, very quickly these days. Then we go live. So once we've sort of done some testing in the back end, um, we, we certainly go live and, and the franchisors can start transacting and you know, a handful of franchisees. Um, again, that, that whole process can be a couple of hours up to a couple of days. We're not talking weeks and weeks and weeks. We then start looking at how we can, um, once we start rolling out to existing um, groups of franchisees, we can start looking at the of implementing some of the integration automation processes we identified in step one. So again, we do that in a staged approach. So um, um, everyone um, is ready for it, is trained for it, um, and it's not a big shock to the entire processes um, when when they are implemented. And then we look at uh, the KPI reporting. Uh, for us, um, actually developing the KPI reporting only takes a couple of hours, but again, it's one of those last pieces of the puzzles that we look to implement uh, because there's a lot to do in terms of the data integration and, and trust relationships with the uh, databases. But that gives you an idea of the process. Again, it doesn't take a lot of time these days. Migration, um, using technology, getting access to existing desktop software, uh, accounting software is a lot easier these days. Um, so getting up and started is quite easy. Um, the important part is get is to get step one right. You get step one right, and the rest flows quite uh, quite well. For all of our FCA members, um, we work. We're doing a lot of work with systems at the moment. Love to have a chat to you about your own system and how some of the models we've taken you through today apply to you. Obviously, no obligations, but I think sometimes it's good to have an ear um, to um, throw some ideas against. Um, again, there's a lot of different providers out there and some may be doing what we're doing, but uh, we certainly can package up quite nicely for you. Um, we've got member benefits um, as well. But if you want to have a chat to me personally, um, there's our phone number, 1300 882428, or you can email me directly. Uh, happy to receive any emails and then set up a time uh, that's convenient for you to have a chat. You can access free trials if you like to have a play around. Uh, there's a, a specific landing page for um, our FCA members at um, shoebooks.com.au forward slash franchises. So, again, it gives you a rundown of what we're doing with the tailored solution. Um, 